Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to display a notification count within the title bar of your web pages using some JavaScript. Um, this is going to work in all of the major browsers, including Internet Explorer. And basically, it's going to look something like this. We can see here, I've got a number of two within brackets next to the title of this page. So, let's go inside the text editor right here and begin by defining a function uh, which will be uh, responsible for actually displaying the counts within brackets inside the title. So we can say function, call this function show notification count. This will accept a single argument and that will be the actual count. So basically um, if I was to call this function and pass in 5, we then expect 5 to display inside brackets next to the current page title. So to achieve this, we can simply say document.title is equal to opening bracket plus the count plus closing bracket space and then plus document.title. So to actually change the title within JavaScript, you simply say document.title equals, and then we're going to display the number within brackets plus the existing title. So I can save this and refresh the browser. We can see currently I've got nothing inside the title bar. If I was to call this function show notification count and pass in something like five, press enter, we can see here we get five inside brackets next to the title. Works pretty well so far. If I was to continue though, uh, calling this function, we can see we continually uh, get five inside here. So to prevent this from happening, we need to instead update the existing number um, inside the title if it already exists. Otherwise, we of course simply want to add it. So let's go back inside the text editor right here. And we can do this by first defining a regular expression pattern, which will allow us to search for and check whether or not a current count exists within the title. So we can uh, define a new constant here called pattern equal to a regular expression pattern just like this. We can uh, begin by searching for the beginning of the string. We can do this using a caret and then we can search for an opening bracket. So uh, we're just going to obviously escape the opening bracket right here. Then we're going to say backslash D plus. This is going to search for any number of digits. And then we can search for a closing bracket. So basically, this will allow us to not only search for this pattern, bracket, number, bracket. It also, let, sorry, um, it also lets us uh, update the existing number. So we can say right here, looks for bracket n bracket. Okay, cool. So now let's go down here and we can say if pattern dot test document dot title. This is basically just saying uh, test will return true or false depending on if the title um, matches this pattern. Okay, so if this pattern exists within this title, uh, document title, then we're going to simply say this. We're going to say document.title is equal to document.title.replace. So dot .replace allows us to replace um, a certain part of a string with something else. So we're going to say pattern just like this. So basically, we're going to replace the current pattern uh, search result, so the existing opening bracket number and closing bracket with this right here. Opening bracket plus count plus closing bracket. So replace the current bracket number bracket with the new bracket number bracket. Okay, and then we can say else and we can pass this inside here. Okay, cool. So now we can retest this function. I'm going to save this and refresh the browser and then call this function for five. Press enter. We get five right there. If I was to now make this number two and press enter, we get two. So we can see that right now the update is working just fine. When we first called the function, we got this code running. 
when we called it the second time, we had this code running. Because of course, in the second time round, this pattern was found within the title. Okay, cool. But there is one problem with this, and that is, um, if I was to call the function for zero and press enter, we get zero right there. So ideally, if you have no notifications, we simply want uh, no bracket to even exist at all. So let's go back inside the editor and we're going to say this. We're going to add to this condition and we're going to say if the count is equal to zero or the pattern matches, then we're going to go inside here and we're basically going to say this. We're going to say instead of, sorry, if the count was zero, instead of replacing it with bracket count bracket, we're going to instead replace it with nothing. So we can say if the count is equal to zero, once again, then we can do nothing, empty string. Otherwise, we can do this right here. So count is zero, replace with nothing. So basically delete this. Otherwise, replace it with a new bracket count bracket. Save this, refresh this time around. I'm going to call two and then call zero. We get nothing right there. And even better, if I was to call zero now and press enter, we still get nothing right there. So now we are finished with this function. Okay, cool. So we can now take a look at how it's going to be used or how it could be used um, in the case of actually having notifications. So uh, let's just minimize this function right here. We are now done with it. So now we can define an array of notifications which we can then test this function on. So we can say const notifications is equal to an array of strings. So basically each string inside here is going to represent a single notification. For example, new friend request. And secondly, let's just say something like your order has been placed for $5. Okay, cool. So now um, basically Whenever you add or remove a notification from this list, we want to call this function. Okay, so let's go down here. Let's define a function to actually add a notification. So we can say function add notification. Okay, we can accept here a notification string. All right, and then we can simply say notifications dot append sorry, uh, dot push. We're going to add the notification to the array, pretty straightforward. And then we're going to say show notification counts. We're going to say notifications dot length. So pass in the length of this array within this function, which will of course then display the number inside the title bar. So now we can simply uh, do the same thing for the remove. So we can say here, remove recent notification, and this will remove the first notification inside this list. So we can say notifications dot shift, and shift will of course remove the first notification right here. And then once again, we can call the same function passing in the new length of the notification array. And then lastly, when the page first loads up, so we can just go down here. Um, we can say show notification count and pass in notifications dot length just to get that initial um, initial number of two appearing inside the title bar. Okay, and we might even get away with putting it up here. So I can save this and refresh the browser. Uh, refresh the browser. We can see we get two right there coming from the array of notifications. And then I can say, for example, add notification. I'm going to add decode right here. Press enter. We now get three right there working very smoothly. If I was to once again add decode, we now get four. If I was to remove the recent notification, press enter, we now get three. If I was to continue doing that, we now get none right there. Okay, so uh, just one more thing for demonstration, and that is when you have a separate tab open 
and this is in the background we can then also uh, this will also work so uh, let's go back inside here and uh, create a timeout to add a notification so we can say here set timeout uh, to run this function right here we're going to say add notification we're going to pass in here something like I don't know decode has subscribed to you okay and then we can run this after five seconds once the page has loaded up so I can save this refresh the page open a new tab wait five seconds here we go and we get three right there so it works obviously in the background also and that is how you can display a notification count in the title bar of your web pages using some plain JavaScript. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.